then last but not least at all it is um my biggest sale to date hey everybody welcome back to the channel uh, i just going to do a roundup of some sales from the last few weeks maybe a couple of weeks um i've just picked out 10 sales have been doing a lot better than they were um especially the last well this weekend just gone so that's been good been slowly picking up i've got loads more stuff to get listed so uh, that's my job for this week to just keep listing and get it posted out as soon as possible um so i might not be doing as many videos but we'll see i'll, I'll see what time i get um so yeah thought i'd go through 10 good sales not good sales just 10 sales that i've randomly picked out that i thought were all right um yeah so here we go right so number one is actually kind of three sales in three sales in one um but throughout the year i've been picking up christmas dvds um so there's a shop uh, uh i think it's a ymca that does eight dvds for a pound uh they do cds and books i've mentioned them before and i've always i always try and pick up christmas dvds when i see them just to put into bundles and i wasn't sure if it would work i thought come christmas i'll just bundle them up see how it goes um and yeah i had three bundles um of 14 dvds in each and they've all sold so they sold for uh, 10.99 for the bundle um plus postage of um three pound 20 which was what it was um so yeah so they've cost me 12 and a half p per dvd and i've sold them for I don't know, about 80p i suppose per dvd so um it's it's not huge money but firstly i love christmas hence a jumper um got reindeers and everything um so if i can help spread a little bit of christmas cheer with all the christmas dvds and make a bit of money on the side then that is perfect i've got those christmas cds to go through as well um, so that's next on my list. Uh, so yeah, 10 lots of 14. I've still got some left, but it's only like a bundle of seven, I think it is. So I'm, I might list them. Um, actually, I might have sold another bundle. Anyway, um, but yeah, lots of Christmas DVDs, lots of bundles, all good. Uh, number two, uh, I've gone for some Laura Rushley uh, wallpaper. I don't know what that is. Wallpaper. <laughs> Um, I picked up three rolls of that from a charity shop um, and they were £2 a roll, so £6 all in. I sold them for twenty nine ninety nine, which included postage on free postage for that for some reason. Um, yeah, so I think postage actually cost me about £6, something like that. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't too bad, so I made a fair bit of profit off that, which is always good. Um, they're a bit awkward to wrap, so I'm not sure if I'll get them again. Um, but yeah, at least they've gone and made a bit of money out of it. At number three is a bit of an odd one. Um, it's a bit of uh, retail arbitrage, uh, which I picked up. So I, I think it was in Sainsbury's. I popped in one night and they had some. Um, what are they called? They're reusable tampon applicators. Um, I can't remember the name of the the, the brand now, um, but yeah, they it looked like they had a whole shelf full of them. But I obviously got there late, and they only had two left. Um, but they were reduced to twenty p each, and I looked them up online, and someone had been had managed to sell one of them. I think for I think about eleven quid, something like that. Um, but I had the two, so I bundled them up together, sold them for uh, fourteen ninety nine in free postage. Um, but yeah, it, I think it went through as a large letter. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy what people work, what you can sell. But yeah, always look out for a bit of retail arbitrage. Uh, always worth checking out. Uh, okay, number four uh, is some DC graphic novels. Um, I paid fifty p each for these at a charity um, a charity shop. Um, got some Transformers ones as well which I haven't sold yet I've got two Transformers comic uh, graphic novels but yeah I'd bundle a six I sort of weighed up doing them separately um, but didn't work out too much 
Um, so I just thought I'd bundle them all up, all six. Um, sold them all together. They went. I think I listed them for twenty four ninety nine, and they someone off ended up going for an on offer of twenty three pound um, plus postage. So yeah, nice bit of profit there as well. Number five is one I mentioned in a previous haul video. I think um, is a fruit bowl. It was like a ceramic fruit bowl which I picked up from a charity shop for a pound. Um, wasn't really sure what to price it at. I sort of had a look around. Price all over the place really. Um, so I just priced it at twelve ninety nine plus postage to see how it went. And yeah, it sold within a day. So I might have underpriced it, but I'm more than happy with with that. Um, wrapped loads of um, bubble wrap around it. Big heavy, a big strong box. And it was good to go. So yeah, happy with that. Uh, number six is a big box PC game, um, for, uh, Red Alert, which I picked up at a car boot in the summer. Uh, it's been sitting around for a while, well, a few months, which is longer than I expected, because it's Red Alert. Red Alert's a great game. Um, but yeah, I sold that for fourteen ninety nine plus postage. I think I paid one fifty for it. Don't know. It's in an old video. If you fancy drawing through them, please feel free. Number seven, I had a bundle of Lego Minecraft bits. So it's, I picked up a bag of Lego Minecraft from a car boot. I think I paid like four pound or something for for the majority of it. Um, and then there was just other bits that I've picked up along the way. I found in different things. Um, so yeah, it maybe owes me a fiver. But I, I sold it for sixteen fifty um, plus postage. So nice bit of profit good time of year to sell lego so I've, I've got tons of lego to be looking at listing as well i've got quite a bit listed but um yeah i've got individual bricks to list uh right number eight is a board game called santorini i'll read that because i'm not sure um if i remember it santorini i've not heard of it before um but yeah it was it looked quite a good game so i um checked it out when i was in a shop in a charity shop i think it was 2.99 um, yeah, sold it for uh, £22 plus postage. That's good. And um, had it listed for 25 but we sort of back and forth, back and forth with offers, and eventually I was just like, yeah, £22 is fine. Um, yeah, so pleased with that. Right, number nine is a uh, pair of Hyperdunk Nike trainers. Um, I think it was size 11. They, I think, again, cost me £5 from a charity shop. Uh, might have even been cheaper than that, three pound or something. I want to say. Uh, yeah, really good uh, pick up anyway. I I had them listed for sixty um, because I couldn't really see any in that color in that, um, you know that size. So I I try it. Someone offered me thirty, um, which I was kind of tempted by to be honest because they've been sitting there for a little while, um, but then. They sort of they well they with their offer they sent a message saying if you can you know offer me a reduction I'll buy these now so I went back with forty five I thought it was somewhere in the middle and I think I a message saying if you can meet me in meet me in the middle then I'll I'll happy to sell them um so yeah they did so they they bought them forty five pound plus postage um so yeah very very pleased with that and uh so number ten last but not least at all it is um my biggest sale to date although probably not biggest profit is it's yeah good profit but um not you know I've, I've sold better but this was just it was, i'm pleased to get rid of this was the um home alone lego set which i picked up in my previous video um which you'll probably if you go back through if you have bothered watching any of my lego investing ones um so i picked that up i picked two up at the same time one for me, one to resell. I was sort of tempted to hold on to it, um, but then it's gone out of stock on Lego. Prices were going up, so I thought I would just get it listed and see what happens. I think when I listed it, the selling price, the sold prices were around about three hundred, three twenty. Um, but I listed it for three fifty. Thought I'd just see how it did, um, and after. A, probably about a week or so um it sold so I, I probably could have held on nearer christmas and sold it for more but 
it's gone. So uh, that's all I'm, I'm pleased about. Um, and there's a, another one of those. I've, I've had a couple of them this week. Someone messaged me um, and said, um, will you take an offer um, on this? And I just replied saying, no, sorry. Um, I'm just, that, that's kind of the price I want to sell it for. Um, you know, appreciate your message. Thank you very much. Um, and then they bought it straight away. So for 350, I can't remember if I said that, but three, 350 pounds I sold it for. Um, plus postage of 649, which I think just about covered it, but I didn't get the extra insurance. So hopefully it gets there and uh, um, yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so it cost me two two nine. I want to say um, two about two thirty. Um, sold it for three fifty. So after fees and postage, I probably made about seventy five eighty pound from that. Um, I I have got another. I could sell the other one because I haven't made it yet, but I want to keep it myself, and it's quite difficult to get a hold of. I think at the minute, so. Um, if oh, I'll keep an eye on it, if the prices go crazy before I've made it, maybe I'll sell it and then just buy it again in the new year. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, really pleased with that biggest sale you know I've ever ever had. Um, but I say not the biggest profit, but there we go. It's um, just pleased to pleased to get rid of it really. Uh, so there we go. That's ten of my most recent sales. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. See if there's anything. I don't know, anything you want to mention, I'll say, hit message down below, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, that'd be very much appreciated, and I will see you in the next video, thank you very much for watching, I'm not sure what that was, oh that's terrible, <laughs> anyway, see you later, bye.